Before last week's primary, little was known about state Senate candidate Betty Jean Alexander. Despite spending no money in the election, the Detroit mother shocked many by defeating incumbent state Senator David Knizek. Our Priya Mann joins us live in the 5th District tonight. And Priya, today Alexander spoke for the first time since that surprising win. Yeah, this has been a huge surprise. Let me give you a sense. That's Detroit behind me. Alexander won the majority of precincts there as well as Redford and Inkster. But just down the street, well, that's Dearborn Heights. And the incumbent, David Knizek, he won the majority of precincts there and Garden City. Now all eyes on this political unknown who takes the bus to work. The political unknown who beat a veteran state lawmaker is starting to make a name for herself. Betty Jean Alexander was a guest Sunday morning on the 9:10 a.m. show of Elena Harada. I think I've had a lot of people not saying I'm not qualified. Uh -huh. I live in Michigan. Uh -huh. I live in the district. I'm uh -huh. representing the people. It's about the people. In the stunning political upset, the 53-year-old single mom did not spend any money or even advertise. She was up against incumbent state senator David Knizek. When it comes to policy issues, she often turned to her mentor, Lamar Lemons, the third. I also would like to... Auto insurance. That's okay. That's okay. Auto don't, insurance. Be, don't be scared. Don't be scared. We're happy you're here. Yeah. Auto insurance. Uh -huh. I want to get the, lower, the rates lower on uh -huh. auto insurance. Now, this is a single mom with no political experience. She's obviously trying to learn the ropes as quickly as she can. So who is her mentor, Lamar Lemons III? Well, take a look. He is a former state lawmaker himself. He's also worked with the Detroit Board of Education. And when it came to funding for Detroit schools, Lemons and Knizek have clashed in the past. Now, his sister-in-law will likely be heading to the state Senate. As for Knizek, he has not conceded the race as he waits for the Wayne County Board to certify those election results. We will continue to follow this developing story. Reporting from Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.